My name is Sky. I use all of the pronouns. Hi, I'm I. I use they, them, or she, her pronouns. If you don't mind me asking, you do not have to answer. How do you identify in terms of sexuality and gender? Um, with identity, for me, like I'm still, like I have names, like I'm pansexual and I'm gender fluid and non-binary, but I definitely have my days where I'm just like, maybe I'm just a very mask lesbian sometimes. Or maybe I'm just actually a trans man and I like there's days where I do not want my tits. I don't want to be a woman like it's just a total gender dysphoria. <laughs> um, but like, no, I'm pretty comfortable with saying that, um, you know, I'm gender fluid and pansexual, but that's always changing. And that's the beauty uh, about uh, gender is that it's so fluid and it's a it's an ongoing process. Um, throughout your life. Um, for me, I also identify as like non-binary or genderqueer. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I identify as queer. Um, yeah, or gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how like gay has sort of become like an umbrella term now because it's like, oh my God, I'm so gay. Yeah. <laughs> but like you like could be like pansexual, bisexual, lesbian, whatever. But like, it's just like, hey, I'm gay. Exactly. Um, <laughs> like simple to the point you know yeah. I have to explain shit yeah exactly <laughs> explain like, things people usually yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> my name is willow my pronouns are she her or they them my name is grace and my pronouns are she and her oh i identify as a i identify as a straight asexual i'm a girl i'm cisgender i used to identify as aromantic but i realized that might not be the case anymore I'm still asexual, but thinking that I'm probably no longer aromantic. Uh, I, I either identify as demi-female or uh, trans-female. Um, yeah, I am a, I'm pansexual, so meaning I like all. You called me on the phone, you didn't even say hey, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna hang out on Saturday We can sit back and watch the flowers grow Or we can make your grandma's famous doll At Toby's Place, food is a really important relational tool. We all sit together, share what's happened throughout the week. Uh, sharing a meal is a good way to get to know each other. People that come in can feel free to come into the kitchen, speak to everyone that's cooking. It's an open space. And then when we're sitting down and eating, we share laughs, we speak, we check in with each other. And we do a go around just to make sure, see how everyone's feeling, catch up on everyone's week, since this only happens um, once a week. And yeah, uh, so food's a really big part. There's a lot of snacks, which are really great. And people can just chill, eat snacks. Um, yeah. All right, folks, let's do the go around. Please share your name, pronoun, or pronouns you're using today, uh, your access needs, and the question of the day is, what kind of pasta do you identify with, and what sauce would you pair your pasta with? Hi, my name is Jade, she, her pronouns, and if I was a pasta or a noodle, I would probably be instant ramen noodles because um, I'm very cheap and I'm very salty. 
My name's Sky, the best Sky. I'm joking. We're both <laughs> equally great. I love the other Sky. I use all the pronouns, and if I were to be a pasta and sauce, I would have to be zoodles, not zucchini noodles. Zoodles, the one you would buy in a can. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I find myself stuck in nostalgia, and I'm feeling really old at 18 because a lot of kids don't know what Arthur is. I never thought I'd be feeling old at 18, but here I am. My name is I. I use they, them, or she, her pronouns. My access needs are all being met at the moment. I love lasagna. I like the layers. I like the different layers in the lasagna with tomato sauce. The boutique is somewhere where folks can explore their gender, get free clothing or houseware provided by Toby's Place. And yeah, it's a place where folks can try on clothes, try on different outfits, overall explore what they want to wear, how they want to express themselves. Gender's always been a little weird for me, uh, cause growing up I had an older brother, I got all of his hand-me-downs, and when you're little, um, clothing is gender, cause that's just how this society is. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm a boy, what's up? Um, and then, but then I also didn't resonate with just being a boy, cause then I, like, this is really, like, clothing really was, like, the gender thing for me. Um, so when I was in dresses, I was like, no, but I like being in dresses. Um, but then now I know that gender fluidity is a thing. Um, and I'm definitely like non-binary gender fluid under that spectrum. Um, and clothes isn't the deciding factor of this for me anymore. Um, and yeah, so that's how gender, and I love fashion and gender and fashion, like showing my gender through fashion is just a really big thing for me. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, in terms of clothes, yeah, I, I used to wear, um, I mean, I still do, but as a child, I wore really masculine clothing um, or what's understood as masculine. And yeah, my poor mom, like I couldn't get my sister's hand-me-downs because I would not wear them. <laughs> so um, my mom had to get me other clothes. Um, so yeah, my gender expression has always been masculine. And um, yeah, that's that's how it has always been for me. And um, yeah, as a child, people would ask me if I'm, I was a boy or girl. And at the time, you know, as a child, I would like be like, no, I'm a girl. But now I'm like, whatever, <laughs> like, I'm not not too concerned uh, about how people uh, see me. Um, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with my gender of like being gender queer. Yeah. yeah. It's hard growing up and being like, you know, a gay kid in Scarborough where it's like nothing for us. There's not really resources for people we can just like connect to. And when Toby's place popped up, it was just like a dream of sorts. It's just like a place where other LGBT kids in Scarborough can interact. I've been here for three years now, maybe. And there are so many cool people that I've met. And it's just such an interesting space to be in. And it brought a sense of family, community to a place that I've just really loved and helped nurture my own identity. I'm in love with Toby's Place and I am forever grateful for Toby's Place because it gives me a space to be gay. Is this, am I peeking or am I good? No, you're good, you're good. Okay. Um, be gay. <laughs> 
I've been coming to Toby's place for about two years. It's helped me find myself as a person and inside of the community while also giving me a chance to create my own community with other youth, which is really great. Especially in Scarborough, it's really hard to find spaces like this because they're all downtown and there isn't space out east. It's helped me grow in my art. My band Pigeon has performed here a whole bunch and they've given us so many chances to just grow as a band and to grow as artists. And for that, I'm very thankful. Without it, I don't think I would have made a band. Yeah, see, I didn't have a lot of people come to me and be like, oh, hey, I'm gay, or I'm queer, yeah, or whatever, yeah. because, like, at my old school, it was kind of wrong. Like, if you went up to someone and said, hey, I'm gay, you'd probably get beaten up, but that's just the community that I was in. I like, okay, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but I really like making people feel uncomfortable. Um, and you're going to be like, that's so bad. Um, but it's more on the sense of like when people are getting mad or frustrated because they can't tell which gender I am. I just think that's like, it just gives me so much like power because I'm like, oh my God, you're validating me so much because sometimes I can't even tell. And the fact that you can't makes me so happy. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I am part of the QSA at school and I've also felt that when it comes to terms with my asexuality I had no idea what it was so I didn't think you could even not like people as a little girl I thought it was natural to like people that as a kid you're supposed to have a crush and I admit I did have a couple because who doesn't but I never felt any more than liking them. I never felt any romantic desire towards anyone. And I thought it was weird and I was it was a bit strange. And then I realized what a sexuality what a sexuality was and I realized, oh hey, that describes me perfectly. I also came out to my parents. And my parents, they're always they're very accepting people and they've already made it clear that they'll accept all my friends no matter what. Even, but they will voice their concerns if my friend's a little sketchy. But I came out to them as asexual and their reaction was, cool, I'm going to go answer a couple emails. So that was nice to know that my parents had my back and loved me no matter what. provide resources uh, from different organizations in the GTA uh, that share information on safe drug use, safe sex, um, and but also we have group guidelines that is also um, uh, another way of practicing harm reduction because we want everyone to feel good, we want everyone to um, be, uh, be seen as who they are and be understood as um, uh, who, how they identify and who they are. There's a lot of barriers to forming a sense of community with other LGBT plus people. A lot of LGBT plus spaces involve alcohol or require you to pay money to be part of the space. And a lot of spaces aren't accessible to young people or disabled people. At Toby's Place, LGBT youth have an opportunity to eat dinner together and attend workshops and build community with each other. And I think that opportunity is really valuable. I've been coming here for three years and I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this space with all my friends. D, one of the program coordinators, takes care of the social media, and they do a great job. They show what Toby's Place is all about. We share things around harm reduction, sex work positive, sex positive posts, stuff about accessibility, social justice, 2S LGBTQ plus art, but also workshops that are available, job postings, and of course, what we're going to be eating at Toby's Place, the menu for Monday. And you can all check that out at tobys.place33 on Instagram. Yeah, I think the social media posts really reflect our values and what we try to practice in the space. We can sit back and watch the flowers grow. Or we can make your grandma's famous doll. But you have to go. 
you have to go, but you have to go back to her place, back to his place. But you have to go